Okay, welcome fellow collectors to another Drax Toys review. This time it's the Ghost Rider 1 6 scale limited edition collectible with the Hell Cycle, which is awesome. So I got this through yesterday. I got it through from a, a new online retailer here in Australia called uh, shopforme.com.au. I'll put the link on screen to help the guys out. Uh, they're fellow collectors and uh, really nice guys. So if you get the chance and you're in Australia, check them out. Uh, very good prices as well. Um, but in terms of box, I'm straight up giving it a 5 out of 5. It's beautiful artwork. Uh, the guys have done a, a great job. Joseph Sang uh, created the Hell Cycle in the Ghost Rider, I think. Yeah, the skull. And they've done a great job on this, uh, this figure. So it's around under, under $300 at the moment. Uh, a bit higher on eBay. Uh, but in terms of box, you get the outer case. Which is this thing, so you just uh, open it up and you get uh, various views on the left there. So you've got uh, Nicolas Cage, which is a good head sculpt as well. And Ghost Rider, Ghost Rider, and something on the top. You also get this inner protective sleeve of Ghost Rider, which looks awesome. That's a good uh, sort of background as well. You can see that. Yeah, it's pretty cool. That's an excellent picture there. It talks about the um, the ghost rider there. That's pretty cool. Okay, back. And that house cycle is awesome. Actually, I'm really liking the head sculpt on Ghost Rider. In our person, it's great. And these boxes are awesome when you open them. The smell of it just takes me back. So let's have a look at what we've got. We've got a uh, shotgun which doesn't open actually in the uh, hell mode in the Ghost Rider mode so it doesn't open but this one which is, looks pretty cool that does open there so it's pretty awesome head sculpt of Nicolas Cage it's pretty good it's not uh, I'd say it's pretty good it looks a bit thin but it's pretty awesome it's got the uh, red thing there at the bottom as well uh, for I think that's a lighting feature but I'm not sure what lights up on this one but uh, I reckon it's a very good head sculpt. Um, before we get to the house cycle, let's have a look. <clears throat> Spare set of hands. And the actual chain itself and the handlebars. Uh, instructions, stand, Ghost Rider. On its own, with just the Ghost Rider figure, I'd say the accessories are pretty light on. But <clears throat> the house cycle, which is an accessory if you like, the vehicle, uh, is awesome. The detail they've put into that, and I've seen the uh, build of that, and that's a, an awesome thing that Joseph's done. <coughs> and the wheels all work, and the handlebars need to go on, and it lights up. Um, but we'll get to that in a moment. One thing I have noticed is the chains here, there's no holes in them. So they've just made them uh, solid. Eh. But anyway. But in terms of accessories, I'm giving it a 5 out of 5 because of the house cycle. I'm kind of including that as an accessory vehicle. Uh, the figure alone probably wouldn't be, but um, yeah, that house cycle is awesome. It's an awesome job. A lot of detail in it. Uh, if you just look on the chair there, the, the hands have probably been separate, you know, separated before I join in. But the paint job on those are awesome. Uh, the seat itself has markings on that. hope you can see that. Oh, it looks awesome. Alright, let's put him together and uh, see how we go. Okay, very short assembly. But, geez, when you turn those lights on, it's next level stuff because it looks just fantastic. I mean, you know, it looks good just standing there, but these lights on just take it to another level. And I thought, you know, what do you compare this with uh, in terms of a figure in a vehicle? And I think I want to bring the uh, bat pot up later. Um, but it's an awesome, awesome display for under $300. I think it's pretty much sold out everywhere now, but eBay's around $340, something like that. But yeah, if you like Ghost Rider Marvel, you have to get this figure because it's awesome. They've done an excellent, excellent job on it. I mean, just look at it with those lights on again. Like I said, it's just an, it's a whole different thing. Um, but I'll just start in terms of the uh, reference to the movie. I, I think they've done an excellent job with the vehicle, so I'm going to give it a 5 out of 5 for reference. 
I was thinking of giving it a four out of five just because the movie's not that good. It's not up there with, you know, X Men or Spider Man the original. It's pretty much probably, I think Hulk, Daredevil, Ghost Rider, and then some of the lesser ones like Electra and stuff. So it's it's down in the in the uh, in the order there on the movie side. Um, but it was filmed here in Melbourne. I remember the night when they filmed at the uh, cemetery. They actually I, I drove past that night because they were filming at night. And they lit up the uh, cemetery like a, a UFO had landed, so <laughs> it was funny. <laughs> anyway, so reference, I am going to give it a five because, again, I base it on the fact that it's a, it's reference to the movie. Um, no, actually, I'm going to give it a four. Four out of five for reference. Let's go ahead. Uh, likeness to the movie is five out of five. Then a great job on the house cycle. Great job on, on Ghost Rider. The head sculpt on Nicolas Cage is pretty awesome as well. Um, but in the night, it looks awesome. So I'll just open the lights now. So we get a better look at him. But that's the pose I'm going for, which is the same pose I've got for my uh, T2 Arnie. But you can just see there the bike, how it glows. Awesome job on the uh, the leather materials and stuff. Um, just got a bit closer. So you can see there. And a great job on his head sculpt. I thought it was a bit odd uh, looking at it through the pictures, but in real life it actually does look pretty good. Uh, the leather-like material on the jacket's awesome. Uh, and a great job on the rest of him as well. In terms of that bike though, again with those lights on, it's just an awesome thing. So in terms of likeness, uh, 5 out of 5. Uh, articulation, yeah, I don't have any issues. It's a pretty much standard uh, true type body uh, that they've done there. So we'll just uh, give that a 5 out of 5 articulation. In terms of the cycle and, and what the options are there, um, it's essentially this thing moves. Uh, you can turn the wheel and the wheels move so it's rollable. And these things here move the uh, the foot thing, the foot rests. Uh, the only thing I'm not too, the thing that holds it up uh, is not that good. Pretty much rests on the exhausts, um, but that's all right. So articulation five out of five. In terms of value under three hundred, definitely five out of five. Um, can't complain on that. It is going. It looks like it's going north. It's sold out everywhere. Like I said, for the Australian collectors, I know uh, shopforme.com.au has a few of them left. So if you're keen, uh, just get in touch with those guys. But overall, it's a uh, 29 out of 30 for this figure. I was going to give it a 30 out of 30, which I think is, you know, it's the top, top marks. Uh, just the reference, you know, uh, the reference material in terms of that movie wasn't 100%. You know, if it come out of something like X-Men or Spider-Man, Definitely 30 out of 30, but I'm just going to drop it down one mark just for that. Uh, it's not there yet. Yeah, close though, very close. Alright, thanks very much for watching. Um, uh, shout out to the Clipper King, thanks very much for your comments, man. Uh, shout out to uh, Avron, I think it's 007. Got a great collection there of statues. Um, and shout out to Loyal Variable, who's uh, who's back so thanks man thanks for your review the other day uh, good to see you back uh, thanks all for uh, subscribing I think I'm on 99 subscribers so one more that uh, be great uh, thanks very much for watching stay tuned for more reviews I'm gonna take a few shots now of Ghost Rider put him in the display see how he looks with everyone else and stay tuned for the next review which will be the Necker threesome which I got again from shop for me um, Okay, so two cycles that I've got. So comparing Ghost Rider to Batman and the Batpod. You together are worth much more than the uh, Ghost Rider, but it's funny that the, uh, the actual cycles themselves are pretty much the same size except for the guns um, at the front. And you can see how, the, uh, how they're both lit up there. I mean, the Ghost Rider cycles just full of flames there. Excellent job on the LEDs. Uh, the Batpod's got the first two, that's about it. Uh, in terms of realism, the, the Batpod does look a bit more real just because of the uh, the nature of the film, I guess. But uh, interestingly, that it's the same size as the Hell Cycle. 
side by side, both of them look awesome. They're about the same height actually, Batman's on his stand, it's a DX2 Batman that I've reviewed previously. Um, but again, awesome job by Hot Toys for these two collectibles from the Marvel and DC Universe. Yeah, so it'll just open the light. You can see there, size, pretty much the same. We'll do a side-on-side -side photo. Yeah, awesome job by Hot Toys. Again, 29 out of 30. Uh, almost, almost top marks. I was, I felt like I wanted to give it top marks, but it just that one the, the movie wasn't that good, so I dropped it one. Uh, but again, thanks so much for watching. I'll uh, I'll take some uh, shots of it inside the cabinet now, uh, with the uh, custom background there at the back, which is Ghost Rider on his own. I was going to do the house cycle as well, but I thought because the house cycle was there, wasn't even the background. But awesome job. Thanks again. Speak soon. So there they are, side by side. Awesome. Ghost Rider versus Batman. Hmm. Not sure how Batman fares against supernatural forces, so I'll leave that one for another day. But you can just see there, in terms of the wheel size, they're pretty much, they're pretty much even. It's a little bit longer than Batpod, just because of the weaponry at the front, but otherwise, you know, pretty much even there. Alright, let's put him in the display case. Okay, so there he's in the display case. Uh, just open the doors. Mad. I haven't got the LEDs right just yet. Um, they look awesome in there. Uh, there's a Batman at the bottom, can't see him yet. I think we've seen the rest. But in display, yeah, it looks awesome, especially with the lights on. Just need a remote control now for the lights, and we're pretty much done. I got some new backgrounds uh, for Blade, Iron Man Mark VI, uh, there's Wolverine, uh, I might use that for Indiana Jones, not sure, and yeah, the others haven't changed. Oh, I've got a new Predators one as well. It's actually uh, their base camp in the background. I'm liking this guy a lot. Predator 2 original. And I've put Royce uh, down here. Okay, awesome collectible right up there with the top uh, with a score of 29 out of 30. Um, awesome looking thing. I mean, just look at the colours there, they just look fantastic. Uh, next review is these three bad boys uh, from NECA. Um, again, I got these from uh, Shop for Me. Uh, open, closed, and Mask Predator. So stay tuned for that. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, thanks for your comments, and uh, speak soon. Thanks. Cheers, bye.